Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and go ahead and drop a like on this video. And the first update of the day, this is a recent update from Martin Fitzwater, who is honestly looking incredible. Martin definitely has put on some size since last year. And if you guys don't remember, he is working with Keon Pearson as his training partner and Branch Warren as his coach. Now, Martin Fitzwater did do the Legion Sports Festival last year. I believe he placed in fifth place. Right behind Antonio Burton, Sojo Oliva, Regan Grimes, as well as Sean Clarita. But this guy from the back is just insane, has these incredible quads. And I think Martin will be doing the Texas Pro. I'm not 100% sure on that. Now, I am aware that he did say some pretty ugly things to Nick Walker, and that did cause him to lose his sponsorship with X and Sledge. But I will still be reporting on Martin Fitzwater. Incredible physique. And in the next update of the day, this was posted up recently by Charles Griffin. Not sure if it's recent. It could have been from the Cali Pro or the Indie Prep. But if you guys don't follow Charles on Instagram, definitely go follow him at Charles Griffin IFBB Pro. The energy that this guy has now since winning the Cali Pro is just next level. He says he believes now. The last time he went to the Mr. Olympia, he said he wanted to just be on the stage. But this time, Charles said he's coming to compete, man. He's coming to shock some people. And his exact words are, it's very, very scary when you believe. So Charles believe he's definitely going to be probably in that top 10 this year. Now, in the next update of the day, this was posted up today by Heidi Chupin, who was looking incredible. Now, I'm pretty sure this is recent because Heidi looks a little bit bigger than how he usually looks. But what do you guys think about this? And what do you guys think about Heidi Chupin? You know, for numerous years, a lot of people have been saying Heidi should have already won the Mr. Olympia. And Heidi is always the most conditioned guy on the Mr. Olympia stage. I just think Heidi's size is holding him back a little bit. In the comparison I did of last year's 2021 Mr. Olympia, specifically from the side, Heidi did look a little smaller compared to these top guys. And that's just unfortunate, man. We talk about how these bodybuilders shouldn't have to get so big. But if you want to compete with a guy named Big Rami, you're going to have to be as big as you could possibly get. But Heidi looks incredible here, and the only thing I would like to see more from him is a little bit more back density, specifically in the back double bicep. Now, for Heidi being a shorter guy, he's actually pretty wide and pulls off incredible lead spreads from the front and from behind. But I just want to update you guys on Heidi Shoopin. Hopefully, he can do good at this year's Mr. Olympia. You know, a lot of people say it's the shoulders holding him back. It's a lot of SEO. But as I told you guys over here at Go Fitness, I don't accuse anyone of using anything. I assume it's scar tissue, and you know, he's being coached by Honey around by, so I highly doubt that Honey would advise him to use the oil. Now, in the next update of the day, this is a recent update from Bay Rules to Bonnie, who reminds me a lot of Heidi Chupin, probably because they are both Persian. However, Bay Rules is a little bit more narrow than Heidi, as you guys can see, and Bay Rules did take a third place placing at last year's Romania Pro behind Samson Dowda and Rafa Brandeo. Actually, Rafa won that show, and Samson was second, but Beirut looks incredible here, man. The only thing I can say about him is to compete with the top guys, he will need more size. But this guy is pretty complete. And when he was up there at the Romania Pro, he was definitely the most conditioned guy in the show. And I mean, you could have made an argument for him possibly placing a little bit higher. But incredible physique, and hopefully we get to see him soon. And the next update of the day, this was posted up a couple of days ago by Quentin Araya, Quint Beastwood, ahead of the Tampa as well as the Texas Pro. And the deeper this guy gets into prep, the better that he looks, man. Look at the waist. It almost seems like Quinn's waist is shrieking during his prep. And as you guys can see, he's putting up a lot of updates. So he is very, very confident going into this show and loving the sport of bodybuilding. Now, these two updates were posted up by him today. Just looking incredible, man. A lot of confidence, a lot of good training. As I mentioned to you guys, he's working with Ricky Moden as well as Steven Didashek with a lot of his training, a lot of his posing. So we're probably going to see the best Quentin Araya on stage very soon. And the next update of the day, this is the latest from Peter Clancier. Peter competed in the Cali Pro, which he took fifth in this show, and he will be doing the Portugal Pro in two weeks. The only other big name I know confirmed to be doing this show is Vlad Sukaruko, so there is going to be a battle between some giants. Now, Peter Clance here looks incredible here. The photo on the left was from a photo shoot, of course, but I'm excited to see this guy on stage, man. He's huge, and he was one of the most conditioned guys up there as well. In the next update of the day, these are the latest updates from James Hollingshead ahead of the Arnold Classic UK. I'm not sure how far we are out from this show. Probably like seven to ten weeks. It's still a little bit away, but James is looking incredible. And as you all know, he came into last year's Mr. Olympia. A little bit flat, and he also overdieted. He wasn't able to take as high of a placing as he's wanted. But hopefully James Hollingshead is able to nail it at this show and get back to the Mr. Olympia. 
Now, this is a smaller update, but I thought I would still share this with you guys, being that Lee Labrada is the face of Go Fitness. So for Father's Day, I guess Hunter Labrada went and got some shirts made that are masked with class. And it is Lee Labrada doing his kneeling, I guess, front double bicep variation and Hunter Labrada doing his famous side tricep. Just wanted to share this with you guys, you know, incredible father-son duo. And Lee Labrada is always smiling, man. One of the greatest poses of all time. In the next update of the day, these are recent updates from Ahmad El Sadani or Ahmad Wardani. This guy looks incredible, man, and I do believe he's competing in the 212 division at the Tampa Pro. Could possibly be Texas. I think it's Texas. I think it's Texas, but I'm excited to see this guy on stage. As you guys all know, I talk about him as much as I can. Still, no one else really picking up on this guy, but at his next showing, he may wake some people up. This guy looks freaky, man. Just next level in all honesty. Now, in the next update of the day, this is Fabian Meyer. The picture on the left is from three weeks out. The picture on the right is from two weeks out of the Emperor Pro, where he will be trying to claim his ticket to this year's Mr. Olympia. And Fabian looks incredible, man. I wonder how is he going to stack up at this year's Mr. Olympia in December. I believe he placed in eighth place last year, so I know he definitely wants to improve on it. This guy has an incredible physique. Does he have the best back in the division? I mean, I know Breon Ainsley does, but man. This guy has incredible bag and he also comes in very, very conditioned. Now, in the next update of the day, this isn't recent, but who doesn't love talking about some Ramon Dino? So Ramon actually posted this up today and said he's missing competition season. And you guys should go over to Horse MD's channel. They actually did a video training together recently. It is in Portuguese, though. So I watched it. It was pretty interesting. But Ramon Dino, one of the most exciting guys in the classic physique division, his popularity is just growing by the day. And after taking his second place placing to Terrence Ruffin at the 2022 Arnold Classic, we're looking at him to come into this year's Mr. Olympia and, you know, possibly take top three. I know all of the Brazilian fans have Ramon Dino winning this year's Mr. Olympia, but I still think he has a little bit more to do to beat a guy like Chris Bumstead. And even with this being an older video, probably from the Arnold Classic prep, Ramon's posing has improved a lot from the Mr. Olympia. Now, in the next update of the day, this was posted up recently by Horse MD, Marcelo DeAngelis. I'm not 100% sure if this was actually recent or not or if he just posted it up. But as I mentioned to you guys, he has recovered from the virus and he's still going to do the Expo Pro Super Show. And this was also posted up recently by Marcelo, but this isn't really the best picture. And it also looks to be a little bit blurry. It could possibly be edited. I'm not 100% sure about that. But I just wanted to share you guys the recent updates from Horse MD. I know a lot of people are very excited to see him make his pro debut. Now, in the next update of the day, these are both recent updates from Chen Kang or Branch Chen. This guy is looking incredible, and he still doesn't have his visa yet, but regardless, he's still prepping for the Vancouver Pro. I believe we have about five or six weeks to that show, so hopefully he's able to get that visa. He is a classic physique athlete, a former top five at the 2019 Mr. Olympia in the classic physique division. So hopefully he can get that visa and get his qualification for this year. Now, in the next update of the day, this is a recent guest posing from Jeremy Buendia. And I also wanted to share this because he brought a guy out to do calisthenics. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe this guy can't walk. It seems like he has some issues with his legs, but it's basically a two-in-one. You know, this is a very sweet moment having a guy like this on stage. And of course, Jeremy Buendia is posing. I believe he's in India at the Sheru Classic. Not 100% sure, but Jeremy looks incredible. But of course, he would be doing these classic physique poses in India. I highly doubt that he will be doing these in the states i've actually never seen a men's physique guy guest pose but nothing against jeremy he's loved over there and this was a great moment between these two guys and i also wanted to share this because i always find this very interesting when bodybuilders go to other countries they're always treated like superstars so this is jeremy buendia over in india with his security surrounding him all holding hands and i wish it was like this you know over here in the u.s as you guys know when big rami won the mr olympia they pretty much threw a parade for him once he made it to the airport. Everyone just went crazy. Same thing for Heidi Chupin. Heidi Chupin actually has like an eight or ten foot statue of himself that was made a couple of years ago. I actually may have to make a video on that if you guys don't know about that. But I also wanted to share this with you. I had the original video from Andrea Presti's story, but I think I deleted it. But Andrea had a Yamamoto event and the crowd was just going crazy. There were so many people out there for this guy. And I had no idea that Andrea had this many fans. Once again, I'm sorry, guys, I deleted the video by mistake, but he posted it up on his story. So it was gone within the next 24 hours. And lastly, this was a little while ago, but Guy's sister Nino went out to Pakistan, I believe, and he was training, doing a lot for his birthday. And the whole time he was out there, he was being surrounded by armed guards with guns. 
I thought that was pretty cool. You know, a lot of people said it was extra, but I just find it interesting that how bodybuilders travel around the world and bodybuilding is so big. But, you know, here is kind of like a very, very close knit sport. But as always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video, man. This video is about a lot of guys that aren't really talked about a lot. I'm Christian from Go Fitness and I'm out.